Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is my home. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, we need to sanitize. Remember, if you don't have sanitizer, that's okay. You can use soap and water. We are going to start by rubbing inside our hands, very good, around our hands, good job, in between our fingers, on our wrists, and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we are going to be doing counting and summer clothes. Now, boys and girls, we are going to start our lesson by counting. And where are we going to start? On page 20. On page 20, we have houses. Now, you can see that our houses are different shapes and different sizes. It's going to be our job to match the number to the correct set of houses. Let's take a look at one, the first one. Now, the first one, we can see that it is one house. So, which one on the other side is one? Is it the first number? No. How about the second number? No. It is the third number. One. One. Good job, everyone. So I want you to please draw a line from the first set to the number one. Now, let's do the second one together. The second one has a set of houses. Let's count the houses inside. We have one, two, three, four houses. So, we now need to look for the number four on the other side. We've already used one number, so we're not going to take a look at that. So, is it the first number we can see? No. How about the second number? No, because we're looking for the number four. And I think the number four is at the bottom. So we are going to draw a line from that set of houses and they are four to the number four. The rest of the exercise, boys and girls, I know you are clever, so you can do them by yourself. Count the houses carefully and then look for the number on the other side. When you're done with that, you can move on to the next exercise. And that one is going to be on page 21. 
On page 21, we can see that we have some clothes there and these clothes need some coloring. We are going to color the clothes, but not just with any colors, boys and girls. We are going to color the clothes we wear in summer and we're going to color them yellow. Now, if you check, there are two items we can wear in summer. We can see that we have some shoes there. Some people call them slippers. Some people call them flip-flops. And they are for summer. So that our toes can be nice and out in the sun and we can run around and feel cool. So we're definitely going to color the shoes, the flip-flops or the slippers. We're coloring them yellow, yellow. And then after that, we have a pair of shorts. Now you can see that the shorts are the ones at the bottom and both girls and boys can wear shorts. We wear shorts in summer because it's nice and hot. We want our legs to feel the breeze. And when we wear our shorts, we usually wear them with a pair of flip flops as well. So you're going to color the flip-flops and the shorts yellow. I need to now show you what the, the color yellow looks like. This is the color yellow. Now, if you're going to color boys and girls, remember we color the whole thing this one color, our flip-flops and our shorts. Please color using the method of going up and down or from side to side. Take your time, boys and girls. If it's up and down, start on one side and then color as you move to the other side. Make sure that you leave no white spots as you go. If it is from side to side, you can start from the top or the bottom and color as you move making sure as well that you do not leave any white spots. So now that we know how to color and what to color, let's continue with our exercise. That means the two remaining things we have, the hoodie or the sweater and the hat or the beanie. These two items, we wear them in winter. We wear the sweater or the hoodie when it is very cold and we want to make sure that our arms are warm, our whole chest is warm, our body is warm. So we need that because it helps keep us warm. And then to make sure that our ears don't freeze, <laughs> we can always have a beanie on. Now the beanie is not just for the ears, it's also for the head as well. So our hair can keep warm too. You're going to color the beanie and the sweater with the color blue. Now take your time when you're coloring because we don't want you to color outside the lines. This is the color blue and just like with the color yellow, you are going to color either from side to side going up or from up and down going across. Just make sure you do not leave any white spaces. And as you color, you can either color very short strokes or long strokes, very quickly or slowly so that you don't miss a beat. Have fun boys and girls. These two exercises are very, very interesting. And when you are done, I want you to please Ask an adult to check so that you know you did the right thing. I will see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. <music>My dear friends, it's now time for us to say goodbye. But before we do, we need to sanitize. So let us take our sanitizer. Remember, if you don't have sanitizer, that's okay. You can use soap and water. I would like you to rub inside. 
Very good. Round and round your hands. In between your fingers. On your wrists. And your fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. <laughs> Sashi was supposed to come and see me. I'm not sure if he's around. Have you seen him? Sashi? There you are, Sashi. Were you hiding from me again? <laughs> so, Sashi and I would like to say goodbye together with a special goodbye song. And if you know it, you can also sing it with us. Are you ready, Sashi? Good. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye, 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 it's time to say goodbye, bye. <laughs>